Right here he is. I came out here a few weeks ago and... Good morning farm friends. It's a cold morning. I don't know if you can see my breath. I can see my breath. But anyway, see Spur back there behind me. We think we found the perfect home for Spur. But that'll be for a later video, later day. Today I'm going to go pick up a Gruya buckskin stud. Kind of an interesting color. And a donkey. Wanted you to know Spur's doing good and that he's going to an amazing home with twin boys. And they already have one pony. So guess what? Now they'll each have a pony to ride. Really, Poco? Come up and push me with your head. With that big old head? That's rude. <laughs> All right, come along. Hello friends, a lot of you know that I go out on the Navajo Reservation a lot and I'm out here for work and I'm in Kayenta, Arizona and it looks like the biggest swap meet or whatever I've ever seen and it's only a uh, Wednesday so I don't know what's going on but I may show you guys um, a little bit of Navajo culture and food and I don't know. Like I say, I don't even know what I'm getting into other than I'm interested. So I'm going to walk through and see what I can see. So. so they say it's every Wednesday and it's tons of vendors here all around me. Pretty fun here in Canta, Arizona, close to Monument Valley. But look at this, there's vendors everywhere. About everywhere you look, there's vendors and food and look at all the tents. All of these set up. They're even selling rabbits. I met David that watches our channel here. Yeah. And he's selling rabbits. It's pretty cool. We need a rabbit on the farm on Route 66. <laughs> we actually have some under our trampoline. Pretty cool. We have horse tack here. Not that I need more horse tack, but maybe maybe we'll bring some out sometime to sell some of it. So this is kind of fun. People everywhere. Well, that was super fun. We probably ought to come back sometime and bring some Farm Under 66 hats or shirts or something. That would be fun. Well, I'm excited. We're going to get this young stud and a donkey. Right, here he is. I came out here a few weeks ago and took a look at him. So I knew what I was getting. These boys follow our channel and anyway, I'm kind of excited about him. So he's a jack. Awesome. I like this cool. Look at that braided thing. <laughs> That's awesome. That's neat. Have you guys ridden him? Have you sat on him? Oh, uh, did you really? <laughs> did he buck hard? Yep. <laughs>
go for it. Look at him. Come on. Yeah, wait. He'll go in just a sec. Come on. Come on, boy. There you go. Good job. And now Jack. You know, we could put this purp we could put this purple halter on right here. Okay. And then I'll tie him up too. It'll be good for him just to get used to it. Come on, Jack. Well, Jamie here is, follows our channel and remind me your name. What's your name? Brian. Brian? Yeah. And how about you? Oh, Tyrell. Tyrell. Brian and Tyrell wanted all the girls to know their names in case they <laughs> see this video. So, <laughs> Jamie's wife wouldn't appreciate it if uh, the girls were contacting him. So, <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's Hopi and his wife's Navajo, and they're really good with these horses and donkeys. And I'm excited to take them home and see what we can do here. Come on. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. He's about to go. Good job. Way to go. You can just tie him up too. Thank you, Tyrell. All right, look at these guys modeling the merch here. They got our uh, Farm on Route 66 hats on. So thank you guys. Yeah, thank and uh, you. we'll see what we can do with these. So, Well, I'm excited about these two. The donkey, I didn't need a donkey, but they asked if I wanted to buy it, and I'm always having people come and ask me if I want to sell a donkey. So I got decided to get him, and I don't know why they call the horse Miller, but that's the name of the of the younger, or I'm sorry, of this three-year-old stud. And his color is just really unique. He's almost a Gruya buckskin. He's pretty gentle. We'll get him castrated and see what we can do with him. So. Kind of a unique color and it's been a fun trip. They live in a beautiful spot here. Well, we got them home and excited to see what we can do with them. And I've got to go check on the house. We got home from Thanksgiving and there was a flood in our basement. Our hot water heater had gone kaput and, and uh, flooded our basement. So. Let me show you what it looked like last night. Hey farm friends, Vicki here on the farm on Route 66. And we came home from Thanksgiving weekend down at the rodeo and with family. And we actually came home to a disaster. We have a crew here tonight helping demolish our basement because we had a flood. Let me show you. This is crazy. Look at that. You can see the water just pouring out of the roof. We're not even sure what's caused it yet. But there's a lot of water up there. Making a schedule. Yeah, did you ever see anything from the water? 
Seriously, guys, this is crazy, but it's kind of cool. I want to introduce you to someone that came to help us out tonight. Okay, this is Chris, and we found out that he has his own YouTube channel, which is super cool. So I'm going to let you go ahead and tell everyone what your channel is. So it isn't on the farm. It's not that cool. <laughs> hey, it's really cool. You have four wheelers. <laughs> it, it does have to do with with power sports. So side-by-sides, dirt bikes, four-wheelers, because that's my hobby, and it's called Southwest ORV. Awesome. We already subscribed. Go check out Southwest ORV. Chris has been awesome helping us out tonight. Jones Off-Road. Oh, there you go. But he's been off awesome helping us out tonight. We totally appreciate it. Such a great crew here even though we are in a total disaster and it looks like we're gonna be in a disaster through Christmas. But that's okay, we'll still have a good time. We're gonna make it better. Yeah, thank you guys are awesome, thank you. Seriously guys, this is crazy. Well, not a fun way to come home from Thanksgiving, but on the other hand, so grateful that it wasn't worse. There's people that go through a lot worse challenges than that. So anyway, have a good one and uh, let me know what you think of these two new projects. Ooh, that's a beautiful card. Wow. Dad, I think this is Spanish. It's not in Spanish, it was like Austrian or something. Yeah, it's not English. Our house is a mess because we're setting up Christmas tonight. Well, that was a perfect night to open it. Huh? I know. This is so cool. Oh, oh my, my gosh. Look at that. That is beautiful. Oh, it's on the box. Right. <laughs> See what it is. Wow. Yeah, that looks like the box the three wide. I know. I feel special. Oh my goodness. What wow. an amazing wow. gift. You guys might that want to read is that card again because I'm not going to read it cursive, so. I will read it. Don't know what this is. It's in German. Yeah, Alan, here. Yeah, you want to read it out loud, see what they said? Dear Palmer family, I still love watching your channel. Thank you for all the joy you bring to so many followers. I would like to surprise you today with the traditional German baking, baking for the Advent season. The four weeks to Christmas. Some of it is German style gingerbread and some, hey, you'll figure it out. Enjoy and have a great season. I don't know how to say their name. Someone tell us, it, it looks like a J-O-G. Jog, Jog? I don't know how you say it. <laughs> Thank uh, you so much. It looks like they even handmade their now, card. Isn't that beautiful? But look at this gift. That is beautiful. Should we show them what's all inside? Yeah. Hey, Dad, how's it spelled? J O G. J O G, I think. Or Y O G. <laughs> We're not doing Oh, look good. on the box and see if it says on the box. What a special gift. Seriously. See our tree? There's nothing on it yet. <laughs> but we're gonna get there tonight, huh guys? Yep, there's gingerbread cookies. There's white gingerbread cookies. This is amazing. Hopefully we're pronouncing it right, but it looks like Jorg Eckert. I hope we're saying your name right. Thank you so much. We're gonna try some of your cookies. This is yeah. so exciting. <laughs> thank you so much. These yeah, thank are you. Amazing. These are so good. This is amazing. Thank you so much. We're going to enjoy and then finish decorating our tree. Maybe we'll show you the finished product when we're done. <laughs> <laughs>
Watch your head. There's our tree. Okay, tuck it in there and turn on the light. Okay, turn off the lights, guys. Just let everybody know, Blake insisted on this, I can reach a mile. <laughs> That's Merry Christmas, everyone. It is Christmas time. And we're yeah. excited. Yeah. I'm going to fall back. Hey, turn off the light. Oh, you guys, that looks pretty. Smile. <laughs> All right. Hey, look at him. Scott. 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 You are so goofy. <laughs> I truthfully cannot see it. <laughs> well, we could see you and it looks terrible. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas, everyone, and Jorg Eckert. Thank you. Thank you, you so much. That was a really those. sweet gift. I already had some of the cookies and they're delicious. Yeah, so. and we're super excited to just keep trying them. So thank you so much. We hope we said your name right, but everyone have a Merry Christmas. We're so excited for this month. Yep, Happy Merry Christmas. Holidays. Holidays.